What's happening guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're actually gonna go through some beginner tips for new runners. So we're gonna go through a little bit of pre-warm up, some drills that you guys can do, as well as some strength exercises that will help you guys kind of cross training for running. We have Coach Mark and Coach Slim, and they're gonna demonstrate a couple of drills that they utilize at Bad City, and we're gonna utilize that with the crew here. And actually, we just, I actually kind of opened it up to other friends and just other followers I have that if they want to come and be a part of this YouTube video. So I think it'll be a fun video just overall, showing new drills, some strength exercises, and some warm-up exercises if you are a new runner. So today, we're gonna go through a beginner runner's warm-up strength form build and session. We're gonna start with the we're gonna start with a slow walking walking drill warm up. We're gonna go into some wickets to work yeah, on the form. Good. And then we're gonna do some strength work to kind of just help get just kind of teach you guys how to run a little bit better. You know what I mean? Hopefully you learn some stuff and hopefully you get some good information out of this. Hi my name's Matt. I'm Mark Slim and we're basically gonna have like uh we won we kinda of came up with this idea of like helping beginner runners on their journey of running because sometimes you go to a run club and you're like damn the man tells me all the time, like, I don't want to go run five miles and get my ass kicked. So I felt like this could be a cool way to like, one, help beginner runners, intermediate runners, whatever level you are, basically like help you with some small things that might actually help you with running to enjoy it a little bit more. So it's not as torturous. Um, and I'm not an expert, even though as much running content as I push out. So I figured that working with guys like this and one, naturally I'm always like a believer, just surround yourself with people smarter than you. Naturally it'll rub off in whatever form or fashion, whether it's fitness or business or relationally, whatever it is. Um, so I felt like today would be super fun and I was like, you know what, we might as well turn this into a YouTube video. And naturally there's a lot of cameras and, and, and photos going around, so definitely don't be shy. But we're gonna kinda go through just a couple drills. So we're gonna go through a warm up, some wicked drills, and then we're gonna work on the sled a little bit. So the kind of the thought process is, one, showing you guys a quick way to warm up, just so like I'm sure most of you guys tie your shoes up and just kinda head out if you do run. Um, but obviously getting something quick in just to get the blood flow, get the body warmed up. Um, the wickets drill, which I actually, they introduced me the, for the first time and it's super fun. Um, and I feel like it's a great way to kind of self-correct yourself. Like if you hit a ladder, you're gonna quickly know that there's something that's kind of off on your form or something that you can work on. So that'll be super fun. And then we'll get on the sled and then get a mix in a little bit of a strength component, just cause obviously running is, very kind of like one plane. So we'll kind of mix in a little bit of a uh, sled work and get a little strength. Um, but that's kind of like a breakdown. We're not gonna run like miles. It's gonna be very quick, um, more sh short and condensed. Um, but that's all I have. If you guys wanna say anything, more than welcome. Yeah, so Mark, Coach Mark, whatever you wanna call me. Um, good to have you guys here. If you guys have any questions at all regarding running, training, your form, whatever it is, it's kind of what we're here to help you out with. So any questions at all, feel free Feel free to ask us and we'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Um, the goal for these wickets is to really just kind of help you with your form. So I'll be critiquing you guys, giving you guys tips and tricks here and there, explaining all of that. Um, Slim is gonna help out with the, with the warm-up and make sure everyone's doing that properly. We just wanna give you guys a bunch of tools that you can take um, to your next run, to your next workout, whatever the case may be, just to kind of add to your repertoire. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to, feel free to ask and we're happy to help out. Yeah, I ain't got nothing. <laughs> I love <laughs> the that. quiet one. <laughs> all right, sweet. So, how about this? Um, we're ready to roll, Slim. You want to take us through a warm up here? Yeah. We'll all get on the grass and maybe form like five or six lines, um, and then we'll kind of go through a quick warm up and get onto the wickets after. Sweet. Let's go. Let's go. Music would have been good for this. Some people like going backwards. Alright guys, as we uh, transition here into a little sled work, 
How many people have used a sled before in any form or fashion? Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, so typically there's three like movements I always do in a workout. First one, and honestly, I'll typically start my leg days with the sled um, going backwards first. And each of these movements, I would say, obviously we have a lot of room here. We're not gonna use this whole um, grass. Let's just go to like uh, yellow cone um, to orange cone. But first one, let's just go backward walks. And as you guys are in this position, just think about having your butt sitting back behind your rib cage, right? So of course, if you look from the side, this would be my glutes basically right in line with my rib cage. Just think about having yourself into your back chain, almost as if you guys are doing like an RDL or like a deadlift. The goal here is keeping your knees over your toes as you guys are going through this movement. And basically, we're just gonna, we're just gonna slowly back pedal walk. And as you guys are doing this, really feel the ground, go toes down first as you guys are moving and just kind of fully extend your leg out as you guys are making your way backwards. Um, once you get to the orange cone, just literally flip it around and then just come bring it back. There's a lot of groups, there's a lot of people here. There's three sleds. We can all mingle in between. It's not necessarily like a workout to kill us. Um, but if you guys can incorporate something from this um, and actually start to do it, that would be a win. The other one is gonna be a side to side walk here. So it's gonna be a crossover step. Keeping the band in your off hand here, I want you guys to cross over with your left leg. So as you cross, basically just putting your foot in the ground, but it's almost like a karaoke. If you guys have ever done those in the past, like where you're kind of lifting your knee up. Um, the goal here, one, is just you're getting yourself in a different plane of motion. Once again, running is a lot of forward movement. So anything you guys can do to like reverse that movement is a good plan in your guys' workout routine. So, right, so we'll go backwards first. We'll go side to side crossover. And then the last one, we'll get some sprints in. Just like put the waist facing the field and we'll just get like a 10, 15 yard sprint. Um, I don't know, we'll probably do this 10, 15 minutes. Just have fun with it. Yeah, just have fun. I mean, honestly, if it, if group three. If anybody wants to like work on their form and like we can jog together and chat and stuff like that, I'm more than happy to correct you guys jogging around, doing strides, stuff like that as well. Sweet. Yeah, so we can like, we can have three here or six here, you know, more here, yeah, like that. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. So, so we'll get like split it up, like half of you guys stay here, half go with Mark and then we'll kind of flip in like 10 minutes. But back, good. I know the weight's light, guys, so we have a little bit extra weight here we can utilize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, think, like shorter steps, shorter steps. Yeah, good, feel the ground, nice. Yep, boom, boom, yep, and then just flip it around here. Good, boom, yep, knee over toe, nice. The sled is your best friend. Let your hands go and just sit your butt back first, right? And then from there, just put the foot down and just try to pick up your rhythm here a little bit. Yeah. Boom. And then use your arms a little bit. Get a little arm swing. Yeah. Just like you would be if you were running. Okay. This is a little heavy. Uh, not really. All right. Good. Boom. 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 It's nothing like the sled, dog. The sled is your best friend, bro. Damn line back there. I'm gonna say run right, you there, you're going back, and then you cross the line, someone else goes. Right? Hey, she said, I don't know. You ready? Run to your board. Go! Come on, Jimena. Let's go! Come on, Jimena. Come on, Jimena. Come on, Jimena. Come on, That wind, that hair in the wind. <laughs> nice job. You've been great. Nice job, man. You guys go enjoy your weekend.
Yeah. Peace. But super fun meeting you guys. I don't know, what should we break it down on? Anyone got something nice? Matt's Q on three. <laughs> How about, how about let's go on three? I like that. Actually, that was in my mind too. All right, here we go. Ready? All right, here we go. All right, let's go on three. All right, let's go on three. One, two, three. Let's go! Yes! Let's fucking go! So that's the video here today. We went through some Wicked Trill. We went through some pre-warm-up routines as well as some strength stuff and then some form correction. And then we finished off with a nice little relay there at the end. Super fun group that just came out. I appreciate Mark, Slim. Lauren, Chris, everyone else that came out with some media, um, I appreciate you all. And everyone else that came out from Austin locally, I really, really appreciate everyone pulling up. It was a super fun video make, and we're actually, we're gonna do this very soon again. So definitely be out on the lookout. If you guys got any value out of this video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't already, hit that bell icon so you can get notified when I push out a video just like this. Lastly, drop in the comments what video y'all wanna see next. Other than that, deuces baby, let's go!